Hey y'all. So this is a video on a problem that I see going on. A problem that I have with a lot of people, mostly liberals, is that they're going around claiming that there are dozens of genders and you can be whatever gender you want because sex and gender are not the same thing at all. They're completely different and I'm here to say that that's just false, I think. I think it's kind of stupid. Um, I want to say that like there are people who genuinely do have gender dysphoria and it's a real medical diagnosis so I'm not like ruling that out and saying that like that doesn't exist because it does but I think people are going way 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 too far to um accommodate like transgender and non-binary people to a point where a lot of stuff that they're saying is just straight up like false um so yeah to go around claiming that there's just dozens of genders it's false okay there's two genders male and female um and yeah, then people will say, oh, well, what about intersex people? Well, intersex people actually, again, they have a medical condition. It doesn't mean that there's a, more genders. And then, um, what about transgender people? Well, also, they have a medical condition where their mind matches one gender and their body matches another gender. So both of those are medical conditions, um, which are real, like they are a real thing. I'm not saying that they're not a real thing, um, but all of this, like you can identify as whatever the hell you want. I think that's false. Um, Neo pronouns like bunny, bun self, whatever they are. Um, like literally I've seen on videos people saying, oh, instead of going by he, him, and himself, or she, her, and herself, I go by buns, buns, and bunny self. And that's, that's not the only person claiming that. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to take these people seriously, and I don't like how they're, even in schools, they're telling kids, like, teaching them about gender identity, like, you can identify as whatever gender that you want to, because it's all determined by your feelings, um, I think that's pretty backwards, and honestly, yeah, like, people who do have gender dysphoria, real gender dysphoria, they do exist, but those people, they're not indoctrinated into it. They feel, usually from a young age, that they were born in the wrong body, and it's actually the opposite. Like, they feel persistent that they're one gender, even though they're told that they're another gender, and... But, like, indoctrinating people, especially children, into this idea that they can identify as whatever they want, I think it's backwards. Because, like, first of all, it's, it's false. Um, gender is not a social construct. It's a biological thing. And also, I think it's going to create a lot of confusion. Because, like... With these ideas, okay, 
someone who's female and who's not completely feminine or someone who's male and not completely masculine, they could, like, feel like, you know, they're non-binary when actually they just don't completely fit what's considered normal for their gender. Um, they just don't completely fit that idea. And I think the power of suggestion, because it's a considered a trend or a thing now, um, could make some of those people think that they're non-binary when actually it's nothing like that. And I've seen stories, I mean, they're, of course they're rare, but I have seen stories about parents kind of pressuring their kids to transition. Like, there's this video, um, youngest transgender child in the world, and the child's parent is transgender. And, um... the parent was saying that their kid is transgender and gender dysphoria is a rare condition like so i don't think that their child genuinely has it i think that the parent was pushing that on their kid because even in the video the parent was talking for their child and there's this video where a kid was pressured to transition and this little boy was saying to his dad, mommy told me I'm a girl. And there was a story behind it where the mom was pressuring her son to, to be transgender. So yeah, I just, I think this is backwards. I mean, like, and I even hear in schools in sex ed classes now they they won't say like males and females like instead of saying males they'll say people with penises <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> it's become a joke um and instead of saying females they'll say like people with vulvas or people with uteruses and instead of saying mothers they'll say birthing parents <laughs> what what no no and it's just it, it's become a joke like you know I don't know why they're going out of their way to accommodate transgender people when 99% of people are not transgender. They identify with their biological sex. Obviously, I do think that the amount of people that consider themselves to be transgender or non-binary is going up. And, like, you could say that it's because those people are accepted more and so they're coming out more. Well, yeah, that might have some truth to it, but I think largely what's going on is the power of suggestion. And also, a lot of, I'm not saying all, but a lot of people do end up transitioning because of some trauma, and then they go on to regret it, okay? When a person has altered their body with hormones... Or they've gotten transgender surgery, whether it's like bottom surgery to change their private parts or top surgery to like, like for a male to female to get breasts or a female to male transgender to have their breasts removed. You know, they can't always change that back. And a lot of times they regret it, and they'll go on to say that I was transitioning because, like, of my hurt, because this happened to me, or this happened to me, it it was largely my trauma, okay? And then, 
So teaching people if they're not comfortable in their bodies that they can just transition and it will make them feel better. I think like it's a slippery slope and it's gonna lead to people taking hormones when they really shouldn't have been. They should have should have been finding um, healing for their trauma and like I don't know what to say at this point because it's just gotten crazy okay and there's another thing where parents are raising what's called babies which means they're not raising their child as either gender and telling their child like you get to decide that you can be whatever you want and I honestly think that's foolish because like not that many people do have gender dysphoria and so like I think to go out of your way to quote unquote not assume your child's gender when they most likely are not trans I think it's foolish just just raise your child according to their biological gender now I'm not saying that you have to make your child follow all the cultural norms around that like like I'm not saying um you can't let your son play with baby dolls and you can't let your daughter play with toy cars or play video games or you know just I'm not saying that but that's more about not following the typical norms for a person's gender rather than being transgender or non-binary so yeah, I mean, I think that this is just a slippery slope, all of this trans and non-binary acceptance, and I think it's going to lead to people transitioning when they really shouldn't have. Um, and there, there is a lot of ID transition stories, people who have permanently altered their bodies and like it's just it's not not cool um and they regretted it i mean there's there's women who used to be transgender so they went from female to male and then they wanted to transition back to female because they regretted it and now their voice permanently or at least long term, sounds like a guy's voice. Um, there's female to male, and then back to female people who detransition, and they got surgery to get their breasts removed. And they can't just, they can't get their, you know, their breasts back now. I mean, they could get surgery and get breast implants, but they can't get their real breasts back because they've altered their body and most of the time when a person medically transitions they can't have children now and yeah there are some stories of like a transgender man who got pregnant yeah you know I've heard those stories but the majority of the times like, when a person goes on those hormones or gets the surgeries and stuff, they're now sterile. And that's something that's that shouldn't be taken lightly, okay? Because when you're pushing on children that they can be whatever gender they want, there's this power of suggestion that, you know, maybe I am trans when I, I'm really not. Like, 
they could end up taking hormones and, like, never being able to have children and then going on to regret it, okay? In the detransition stories, you know, the people that did regret transitioning, a lot of them actually are Christian testimonies. So, like, they encountered God and... You know, I mean, they they realized that they were the gender that they were biologically. And they found fulfillment in Christ. And so I think that's something that's important and something that's not talked about. And, yeah, I just think that People need to realize that this is getting ridiculous now. It's getting foolish. And I know people might call me transphobic, but I want to say this because I do think it's the truth. And, like, we need to stop treating gender identity as something that, that's light. Something that should be taken lightly because... It really shouldn't. And the idea of a person permanently altering their body, that's not something that we should take lightly at all. And yeah. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. Okay, um, rant over. But I hope that you guys liked the video and found it interesting. Okay, bye!